648 on your Tuesday morning. It's time now for the morning rush. A Roswell teen is facing murder charges after police say he was involved in a deadly shooting over the weekend at a Walmart. Police say 18 year old Joshua Ray Martinez was working at the Walmart. He has since been arrested for the fatal shooting of 19 year old Steve Soltero. Martinez was arrested in Southeast Roswell yesterday afternoon. Students and staff at a Las Cruces High School are mourning the loss of a 14 year old student after he was shot and killed over the weekend. Now Saturday morning, officers found the boy suffering from a gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital where he later died from his injuries. Oregon Mountain High School confirmed that the victim was a student there. Now the 15 year old suspect was charged with involuntary manslaughter. The man police say is responsible for a deadly street racing crash in Northeast Albuquerque is being re released from jail while awaiting his trial. Police say Andy Torres de Samuel was racing another driver in a Mini Cooper when the two cars crashed into a white Toyota Camry. The driver of the Camry, Jenna Hamilton, was killed. Torres de Samuel's defense attorney argued for his release based on lack of criminal history. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. It is a chilly start. Temperatures will be in the low 50s through the commute and into the low 80s this afternoon, so be sure to wear your layers. State Department of Health is hoping to combat a rise in babies being born with syphilis. That's with a renewed public health order. This comes after the number of infants born with syphilis in the state increased from 1 in 2017 to 76 in 2022. Now the order is encouraging more testing for the disease in people ages 18 to 50. We'll have to wait to find out if New Mexico United will be allowed to build their soccer stadium at Balloon Fiesta Park. Under the proposal, the team would lease a seven acre plot on the east side of the park from the city, with the city agreeing to spend at least $30 million on construction. City councilors decided to postpone the vote to approve the proposed lease agreement until their November 20th meeting. Albuquerque's city council has approved a spending policy for funding received through opioid settlements. Counselors will collaborate with the county and behavioral health providers to determine the best way to appropriate those funds. The money must be used to fight the opioid epidemic. Erica. Here's a look at our threat index. It is low today. We could see a couple of storms in southwest New Mexico. One associate professor from UNM will be taking part in the New York City Marathon for the first time this November. Dr. Rebecca Dutton is one of five doctors who will be running on behalf of the American Neuromuscular Foundation. She hopes that by running the race, they can continue with their research and help those afflicted with the disease. Two New Mexico high school football teams came together. That was to make a memorable moment for a senior player. Clayton High School and the opposing Tatum Coyotes, they worked together to help Caetano Trujillo, who has special needs, make a senior year memory and reach the end zone. Trujillo says his next goal is to score a touchdown for the Lobos. Former President Trump has been placed under a limited gag order in a federal election case related to the January 6th Capitol riot. The order bars the former president from talking about witnesses, prosecutors and court staff involved in special counsel Jack Smith's federal prosecution. Judge Tanya Chutkin said she would assess any consequences for the former president if and when he violates it. Erica. Here's a look at our traffic maps. They are clear, no accidents or slowdowns to report. And trackers heading east on I-40 near the Big Eye, where it looks like there are starting to be some brake lights in this area. Well, Sony is hoping to make gaming easier for people with disabilities. The company announced its new PlayStation Access controller. The controller does not have to be held to be used. Instead, it can rest on a wheelchair or on a table. It also features buttons and thumbsticks with different shapes, sizes, and textures making it easier for users with disabilities to maneuver when playing their favorite games. Time now for the five facts. At number five, two New Mexico high school football teams came together to make a memorable moment for a senior player. For number 54, Kitano Trujillo, a senior at Clayton High School, both his team and the opposing team, Tatum Coyotes, worked together, helping Trujillo, who has special needs, make a touchdown. Trujillo says his next goal is to score a touchdown for the Lobos. At number four, a popular national park in New Mexico is getting ready to celebrate a century of land preservation. Carlsbad Caverns is going to be hosting its 100 year anniversary event next Wednesday. President Calvin Coolidge set aside the park back in 1923 to preserve it and protect its quote unusual beauty and natural decoration. The park encompasses not only the caverns, but more than 119 other caves, as well as the unique native ecology. The 100th anniversary will kick off at the Parks Visitor Center. That's at 930 in the morning on October 25th. 
And number three, it's going to be a warm and quiet day. Temperatures are starting off chilly, so grab your warm layers. But I mean layers because we'll be back in the 80s this afternoon. Temperatures will climb through the 60s during the morning and midday, 70s by the early afternoon. And we should hit that high by late afternoon with plenty of sunshine. At number two, the State Department of Health is hoping to combat a rise in babies being born with syphilis. That's with a renewed public health order. Well, that order is encouraging more testing for the disease in people ages 18 to 50. This comes after the number of infants born with syphilis in the state increased from 1 in 2017 to 76 in 2022. NMDOH Chief Medical Officer Miranda Durham says one factor contributing to the spike in cases is insufficient, insufficient syphilis testing. Durham says the disease is treatable during pregnancy and babies can also be treated at birth. Now for people without insurance interested in getting tested, public health offices offer free testing. And at number one, we'll have to wait to find out if New Mexico United will be allowed to build their soccer stadium at Balloon Fiesta Park. City councilors decided to postpone the vote to approve the proposed lease agreement. Last night, councilors heard from the public and from United CEO Peter Trevisani. After public comment and discussion, the council decided to hold off on a vote until their November 20th meeting. Under that proposal, the team would lease a seven acre plot on the east side of the park from the city, with the city agreeing to spend at least $30 million on construction. The city would put state legislative funds toward general improvements at the site, but not toward the stadium itself. 